Hello everyone. Now, sometime back, I did a video on MI's new QD mounts. Now at that time, there was only a handful, if you will. Uh, there was a couple of red dot uh, mounts. Uh, one for the, I believe, ACOG and a bipod mount. So, just a handful at the beginning. Well, needless to say, that number has grown by quite a bit. I mean, not only additional red dot mounts, different configurations, different heights for holographic sights, full line of scope mounts, an additional bipod mount, which the original one was for the Harris style bipod. The new one is for the Atlas bipod, I believe. But the one mount that kind of sets by itself that I wanted to talk about today is the MI flashlight mount, otherwise known as MI QD 170 SFS. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at it. MIQD 170 SFS. MIQD base for Surefire M300 M600 series scout lights. We'll get to that in a minute. So, brief description. Go ahead and open it up. necessary allen wrench, instructions, mounting screws, now machine from 6061T6 aluminum receives uh, anodized hard coat to protect against wear and corrosion, has the patented elite defense throw lever QD throw lever. Has MI's lifetime warranty and made 100% in the USA. Now, a couple quick things on the Elite Defense QD throw levers. It is a lever locking system. Push button release. Has a 12 sided adjustment nut. The adjustment nut and the T-bolt are made from hardened tool steel and receive a hard coat to protect against wear and corrosion as well. Now where in the description it says for the Surefire M300 and M600. Okay, originally designed for that, but it will also work with the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount 1 and I believe it's the Rail Mount 2 which takes two batteries. And this is what we're going to install on the mount today. So, let's get to the installation. Now, before you go ahead and install your flashlight, I do recommend going ahead and mounting this on the rifle or rail where you plan to have it. It just makes it a little easier to adjust. So you can go ahead and unlock it, put it in the desired rail mount, and we're loose. So, push in on the locking lever. Now, to adjust this, as I said, it has a 12-sided adjustment nut, which gives you a little bit more range than some of the other brands out there. So, such as this, push in on the locking bar, and then go ahead and give it a few notches. Push it back on the rifle. Still a little loose. So... And a couple more. 
Let's go right that. Now you want to make sure that you don't end up with this. Because that'll give you a false torque. You got to play with it a little bit so it sits totally flush. One more. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, three. try two more okay I want it tight but not to the point where I need something to take it off it's just for a flashlight yeah that ain't too bad right there okay let's get the flashlight mounted okay gonna mount the flashlight now to speed things up I've already taken the screws out of the Protax uh, factory ram out. So we'll just loosen up, pop it off. Okay, now I want the throw lever on the left side of the weapon. So I'm going to set it like that. And then, as with the Surefire, the Streamlight also has the mounting screws on the bottom. So slips right into that slot. And we take our screw. Just snug for the time being. Okay. Now we're going to torque them in. You can use a drop of blue lot tight if you choose that's a personal preference okay so we're just gonna give it a little torque not real hard there we go now it's ready to go on the rifle now for the specific screw torque settings Go ahead and contact Midwest Industries if you want. All right. Okay, let's mount it on the rifle. We have our slot where we want it. We've got the torque on the throw lever. And... Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. Nice and... And there we go. All ready to go. Well, there you have it, my friends quick look at and the installation of the MI QD 170 SFS flashlight mount. Gotta say it's a pretty nice little mount. It's pretty durable. Um, I have ran several hundred rounds through this rifle and it's held tight. No issues whatsoever. Only weighs 1.7 ounces. I forgot to mention that so Whereas, I said originally designed for the Surefire Scouts, so uh, those of you that have those flashlights, you might want to take a look at them. If you're like me, got to kind of watch your pennies, you might want to take a look at the ProTac Rail Mount 1 or the Rail Mount 2 from Streamlight, also available for Midwest Industries. So, anyway... Gotta say, it is a nice little mount. So, whether you're looking for the flashlight mount, a bipod mount, a scope mount, or a red dot mount, or one for a hollow sight, you might want to take a look at what Midwest Industries has to offer on their QD mounts. So, I'll place a link in the description below. If you're interested, stop by, take a look. And remember, Midwest Industries, ready, anytime, anywhere, for your tactical rifle needs. I think that about wraps it up, my friends. So, until next time, target on.